Hi. Hello. Welcome back to your turn to die. Mm, don't mind me, I'm just stretching because I'm tired. When am I not tired? Can I do one fucking episode where I'm not tired? No, apparently not. Uh, when we last left off, we met Gonbi. Yamada? I fucking forgot his last name. Ask me what everybody's last name is. I cannot tell you, except Kotaro. Kotaro fucking Burgerberg. I guess in So. I know So's last name. Sarah's, I guess. Yeah, I literally, I can't know. I don't fucking remember Kana's last name. Reiko Yabusame, I remember Reiko's name. Gin something, I don't know Gin's name. Professor Mishima. His name's. Professor Mishima's name's right here, so, like, his first name. Am I not allowed to click this no more? Oh, I guess I'm not. Weird. Anyway, I think it was Kazuma. Like, from Konosuba. And. <laughs> wouldn't it be fucking weird if. <laughs> Kano Kazuma from Konosuba grew up to be this dude? Aw, oh, rest in peace. Uh, uh, anyway, we met fucking Gombi, and then. Shit happened. What shit happened? I don't know. Fuck me if I fucking know. <laughs> anyway, he's. We've released him into the wild. That's pretty much what's gone. Oh, this paper literally says. Kazumi Michi. There it is. It's not Kazuma, it's Kazumi. Damn it. <laughs> uh, where was I gonna go? I forgot. Let's just go to the cafeteria. Let's just cover all bases here. Let's go to the hitting room first. Nothing. Boof, 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 boof. Oh, shit. What an ice here in color. Hemph, if you want to search, do as you please. I won't assist, but I won't impede either. Well, what the fuck am I gonna search for? There's literally nothing to search for. I don't know. It's these stupid, creepy ass bunnies. Is pink your color, Gombi? Still? You can see the kitchen through the glass, so that means now can't possibly be in there. Why was Kai saying that earlier? Kai's suspicious. We already knew this. Um, we were just in the fucking bar, weren't we? Okay. Let's go to the game room. Kai, she didn't fall in this large hole, surely. Come to think, where does this hole even go? I feel like we're gonna find that out soon. I feel like somebody's gonna get pushed down the hole. I really wished it was so, but that's not gonna happen, I guess. I would like to believe she's safe. Red room. Yep, still full of weird shit. Of course, I can't fucking take it. <sighs> ah! Right. I forgot that that was. I did want to come down here for this specific purpose. Right. It's me. <laughs> Sarah Dobin. <laughs> yeah, the hairstyle still looks dumb as fuck. It's a spitting image. Like I'm looking in a mirror. Oof, our enemies got some wild hobbies, huh? Please don't say that. It's eerie how detailed it is. Yeah, I can't look away from the intricateness. It's amazing. So it doesn't have any of the skin problems I do. But when was this made? I can't pull this off without a long... Detailed observation. Oh shit, it was your stalker. <laughs> okay, I know that she thinks. Okay, that's not true. If she says that Kai's the stalker, Kai's the stalker because she obviously would know what her stalker looks like, right? Um. I just can't with Kai. Like, when he hit my Sumaili, like, it was like a different side of him. It was interesting to see that he, you know, has more emotions than just being aloof. But, like, I just can't picture him being a stalker. I just don't know. I don't know. Maybe Sarah... It's possible Sarah's remembering wrong. I'm just biased. <laughs> he is high on my list, though, so I can't say shit. What's up? Ask about Kai. Ask who has his attention. KG, I want to know your perspective. Is there someone who has your attention? Maybe Joe. He's such a funny guy, you know. Haha. <laughs> now enough about that. Want to take this doll along? Right. Understood. He... <laughs> Tana Sarah doll. What the fuck? It's so creepy. Do, 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 do,
do, do, do. Well, that means we can go upstairs. Okay. I guess that's what we were here for. I just, I've completely spaced on it. Oh, it's Joe. Now, where'd you go? Hey, that's, that's a, sh hey, now that's a shout. Keep searching like that. Now. Grah, not of my ear, dumbass. Shout away from me. Super sorry. I feel like these two have a sibling relationship, but like the siblings get along, but not really get along. Two symmetrical rooms, huh? Seems like you're kind of puzzled, Sarah. Where the fuck have you been, KG? I've been solving- I've been solved a puzzle. I've been solved a puzzle. Last episode was mostly about Gomi. I barely spent any time on the puzzle. Get out of here. I'm 90- I'm literally 98% done. I have two things left. I got the Sarah doll here. And I got this light bulb. And that's it. Those are the last two things. Wanna ride on my shoulders? Sure, please do. Hey, I was half joking, but alright. Same delight bulb. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. There's a hole in the ceiling to insert something. Oh, I guess I had to wait for what's his face's stupid impulse input before attempting to do all these things. Oh, that means I searched around for no fucking reason. <sighs> I wonder. Piggyback, please. Well, it's only logical. See, in my day, we would fucking hop on this thing here. Oh fuck. Well, whatever. Anyway, that little table or whatever. Thanks, please, man. That table here. This one. This one, right here. Like, we would jump on it, the counter, stand on it haphazardly, and reach. That's what we used to do back in my day. That's what I still fucking do. Like, I'm a grown-ass woman. I still do that shit. Stand in front of it. Everything in the room looks symmetrical. Something moved. Way to go, Sarah. Let's take a look outside. Are we just gonna leave that doll there then? Okay. Oop. Das. Ominous. As fuck. Oh, it's a key. That's the first thing I'm grabbing. Hmm? A key. It's got a tag, meow. The key to the kitchen, eh? Come to think of it, the kitchen's the only place on the first floor we haven't been. Since the key's here, now shouldn't have been able to get in it without breaking the window. But we should check in case. Yep. Best to be simple methodolo methodological uh, in your investigation, Sarah. Taint kitchen key. Where the fuck is the kitchen key? You said there was a tag on it. It has a dial with a number on it. This one says 09. Number 09 is placed above the door. What is the number? Now I have to go fucking looking around. I bet the black door has a code to it, too. Fuck. Cancel. Why do I hate puzzles so much? <laughs> Obviously, it makes the game more fun. Central Hall. Where could I... Possibly... No. I don't remember any a single place where there was numbers. Oh, I can't remember. No, there's no numbers on here. Uh, none of the alcohol has numbers, I bet. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me click on stupid so in case he has something to say. You okay, Kanna? I don't want to put any burden on Kanna, so I'll keep chatting on her from a distance. I don't know how to talk to kids, so I'd be awkward, awkwardly sitting there too. <laughs> uh, smoking area hallway. I keep, I keep wanting to check like back here. I know it's just a smoking area, but I feel like it's gonna be something in that trash can one of these days. <laughs> it sits there suspiciously. How are you gonna get to it to examine it, sweetheart? Thanks. Okay. Even though I was just in the red room not long ago, I'm going back in. Just in case there's something. Oh, maybe 28. 2875 might be a code. Code is working quietly. Teddy bear. Useless. 
Spot the area. What the fuck did I not check? I guess the kitchen, I guess. Oh, I guess we gotta go to the kitchen. Not the kitchen, the cafeteria, I meant. Cancel. I used the key that I have no idea what the fuck's going on. K -k -k kitchen even though we can fucking see in the kitchen, but that's fine. What? Tell me what sort of logic. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> I, lo I love how that was obviously the confrontation scene. The big confrontation scene with now. First of fucking all, we literally been seeing in the kitchen. I can see the kitchen through the glass. She doesn't say anything more. Like, oh, there's a figure. Or, oh, it's too dark in there to see, make out anything. Nope. She says, I see the kitchen through the glass. Anyway, that was hilarious. <laughs> I'm surprised that it let me leave. <laughs> what else can I do? I have to go in there. That's the that's the big confrontation scene. So like There's some storage space for cookware, but I don't see anything resembling cookware. There it is. Those are numbers. I'm gonna have to write this shit down. Uh 361802. Oh shit. The 3 8 and 0 look like black and the 612 look like white. Okay, well, I, 612 was my old area code, so I know that. 612. 380. I have no idea what the fuck area code is. Please use that as you wish. Wait a second. That's a fucking knife box. Yeah, that confirms it. 380 is the code for the black door. 612 is the white door. We're gonna have to deal with that later. Hmm? Contained a long, narrow box. Hold on. Let me see if I can go back. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? Let's delay the confrontation just a slightly. Let's just delay the confrontation a little bit more. <laughs> Let's open those rooms. <laughs> and then we'll be back. <laughs> I turn over. Oh, God. I bet it's three. Yep, there we go. Uh, six, three, one, no, one, two, boom. It, I better stop. It can be easy. I'm guessing we're- fuck me. It was definitely 612, you dumbass. I must have clicked something wrong. Uh, boom, 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 six, uh, one, boom, boom, boom. It's not a random number! Six, one, and two! Maybe I have to open this first. Three? Eight, zero. I'm not guessing random. I guess I have to fucking confront now. I hate everything. I'm probably the first gamer to be doing this shit. <laughs> Normally people are like, oh, let's do it, let's confront. And I'm just like, now let's just do everything else except confront. I know this is probably gonna take a bit of time. That's now. Who's standing right in front of the big ass mirror and the fucking kitchen is lit up to. Fuck this game. <laughs> Please stay away. Hey there, settle down now. <laughs> settle down now. Ah, uh, that's what I'm gonna call this episode. Settle down now. There we go. It's been made. It's been named already. You especially, please. Oh shit. <laughs> She's like, I ain't have. I've had enough of your hand grabbing actions. <laughs> what did you come here for? Please leave, Sarah. I'm scared now. Now is really rally. Ask her her reasons. Slowly approach. Ask her her reasons. We're on your side. We didn't do anything. What in the world happened? As if you don't know that. I won't hand over the professor. Now doesn't want him to be taken. Calm her down. Please calm down. We don't intend to take him. Then please just leave. It's no good. Can't be resolved by discussion. Now doesn't want him to be taken. Obviously I have to lock the door. I've locked the kitchen door from the inside. What are you doing? Now no one else can enter. Will you talk to us? You really didn't come here to tend to taking the professor of math. Please believe us. Okay, she looks fine now. Since it's you, Sarah, I'll believe you. Well, can we come a little closer? You put your back to the door and stay quiet, please. Oh, shit. <laughs> she really doesn't like KG. She's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
<laughs> back to fuck up. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> and the music even stopped like, oh. <laughs> Sarah. Well, she's like that. Um. Jeez, not forgetting what I'm about to say. <laughs> that one fat prop me teacher, yeah. Who, like, she speaks so quietly. But then when you piss her off, she's like, good to fuck down, ma. Or, I guess she doesn't curse. But you know what I mean. That's that lady. I can't fucking remember her name. But she was my favorite character. Anyway, Sarah, why did you come here? Obviously for you. For you. I need to put her at ease somehow. I was worried about you. I came to search the kitchen. I was hungry. I feel like... I was worried about you. I'm gonna say that. We were worried for you. We came looking. I was afraid the kidnapper has do if you would resist them. Sarah, you're right. I'm sorry that I've caused you trouble. I've been hiding here the whole time with the lights turned off. Since the kidnappers can't find me, they'll take him. Does that mean this room has a light switch? Were you scared? Did no one else come? Were you scared? Must have been scary in the dark. My body won't stop shaking. Now it's starting to calm down bit by bit. At this point, I think we can talk properly. Now, um, it's hard to say things like this. I understand. I understand that what I'm doing is wrong. I've caused all of you trouble. I shouldn't be acting like this forever, should I? What should I do? I just have to persuade her. Tell her about Finn. You should let go of the box. Maybe tell her about Gin? Now, did you know that stairs the second floor appeared? Huh? You don't mean an exit? No, the rooms are just full of tricks. In the process of searching for you, Gin got trapped in a cage. Gin? Yeah. He was very frightened by it. That's my fault, isn't it? I know how you feel now, but you can't be exposing the people who are alive to danger, too. The people who are alive. That wording. I don't like that. Professor Mishima is dead. Fuck. Bad end time, I guess. What? No! Yeah, I guess bad end. Fuck me. That's right, of course. Oh! Not bad end? I kept questioning him in the dark. But the professor didn't say a word. No matter how busy he was, the professor I knew would always answer my questions with a smile. I was in the middle of painting it. A portrait of the professor that I meant to give him as a gift. But I can't give it to him anymore, can I? You should still finish it. And what about it? Huh? He must have taught you many things. About art, about studying, and about many more things. Who knows Professor Mishima best out of anyone? Now, you should make it back alive and finish that painting yourself. I... I want to paint it until I finish that portrait. I can't die. Right. It's sad. But this, this box, I'll let go of it now. The door is open. You should go see Reko. Because she was the most worried. Y yes. Sorry about what I said, Mr. Policeman. Uh, <laughs> ain't no thing. <laughs> I bet he's used to it. <laughs> well, we better give it our all, too. Right. A box with a suspicious look. Er, well, Sarah. If you don't want to peek inside, you can look away. Inside, it must be the professor. Look inside. No, searching every nook and cranny is the only thing I can do. You're really some kid. I touched the box and the lid opened easily. Huh? There was nothing in the box. What's going on here? No buts about it. It's totally empty. Was now dearly protecting a box that had nothing in it? Where did the professor go? It was never in it at all. That's a nope. I saw it clear as day with my own eyes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Getting hard to tell what's the truth. Even as far as Mishima's death, huh? Nah, I just felt like saying that. Miley, was it? If Mishima could revive like her, just stick his head on and I'm sure now I'd be glad. Like a doll, huh? Was Mishima also a doll? 
Ha, huh, surely even you can tell between a living creature and an object enough to know he was a human like you, Sarah. Well, no point in worrying about it. Let's keep trucking along and just pursue the truth. Irritated to have a mystery lingering. Haha. -ha. Can you not? What the fuck is this? I think we've already pretty much clicked through this room. I'm tired. Let's leave. Fuck. Okay, so let's go back upstairs. Um. There they are. Sarah. Reko. Heard you found now. You did good. Thanks. I'm sorry for worrying you. Don't sweat it. Especially because you're safe. But now we're buds, right? Don't take off anymore, okay? But buds. You don't want to be? If my makeup's scary, I can take it off. Th that's not it. I'm very happy. Alright. <laughs> Reko's... A I like Reko. She's like... Uh, the big sisterly type. Cancel. I'm gonna try entering those numbers again. Now that the whole now situation's over, I bet it's fine. Oh, there we go. The white door opened. Okay, so the numbers were right. It's just that you have to wait until after, um, the whole now situation. Wait the fuck up! The number two is displayed above the door. What the fuck? Wasn't it nine before? Am I supposed to remember this? Shit. Okay, I guess I'll remember it. 0209. 0902, sorry. Uh, let's go in the white room for uh, first. White room. <laughs> mm, I don't like the look of this. <laughs> I don't partake in activities like this. I am a good girl. <laughs> nah, for real, what the fuck is this? That's, a, that's a definitely a chain. It's a handcuff at the end of a chain. I wonder what this is. Plus, the air in the room feels heavy. I'm gonna leave the room, meow. Again? Well, this place is no good. What do you mean by that? Hmm. I can sense a bad feeling somehow. Please tell me. I'm betting somebody died here. I can faintly smell blood. Ah, since there's dust, it's been wiped a little while ago. I put a, a time around, yeah. Maybe the first trial. Once I became cognizant of it, I understood. The removable, unremovable raw stench of blood. The air that repulsed my instinct. This is disgusting, I want to throw up. Oh, shit. Don't imagine it. Feeling your limits, Sarah? KG. I'll check every inch in this room. You get out, Sarah. But I'm saying trust in your friendly policeman. With a gentle push on the back, I proceeded out of the room. To think an empty room could make me tremble. It has been planted in me, the fear of death. Shit, I wonder what's in the black room now. Yeet! Large blackboard, nothing written. Lights pointing to that blackboard. I already clicked that. Well, the only most obvious thing left is this electric paper shredder. It's a machine for shredding documents and such, because there's a lot of shredded pieces inside. How about it, Sarah? You see anything of interest? This? Huh, it's just garbage. It's probably just a waste of time to check it all, right? Hmm. Recreating the documents from all this paper would be very time-consuming. I'll try searching it, you know. Gin. Huh? Gin seems all fired up. I'll watch him till he's done. Okay. Well, that means there's nothing for me to fucking do then. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Ugh. <laughs> Can you tell how done I am? <laughs> so. <laughs> so, and... Kanna. Aren't you tired? It's not good to work too hard. You should take some time to rest. Hmm. I'm still en energetic. I can't rest, not while everybody else is working hard. I'd say rest is a valuable option in its own right. Still, you never know who'll come attacking you, so I know how you feel, Miss Sarah. 
Nobody hates me like people hate you, so. So shut the fuck up. Miss Sarah, I don't think you should go to the first floor on your own. But... Er, hey. Joe's your best friend, right? Why are you questioning that shit? Joe's my best friend. He can be stupid, but he's definitely my friend. He's a good guy. Uh-huh. Miss Sarah, you trust Joe a lot then, huh? Are you questioning Joe? What about Joe? What you saying? Miss Sarah, so came very close to me and spoke in a whisper. Do you remember that vote? Huh? I had nearly forgotten. No, I'd been trying to forget it. The second trial, the vote in which Professor Mishima died. Excluding my own vote, Mishima got three votes. No one, na Sao and Nao got zero, and everybody else got one. But of course, we thought the choice held no meaning. You see, I voted for Joe. Do you know what that means? Sorry, that must have bewildered you. We'll be going now. Catch you later! Okay. I gotta get my gears going. I gotta think about what he just said. So, I remember in the first trial... Um... The whole squad, all 11 of us got a one vote. Everybody got one vote. Except now, Mishima and So. Like it said, So and Now both did not get any votes. They got zero votes. Mishima got three. I voted for myself. Me, Sarah, Chidowin. We vote. I voted for myself. Assuming that everyone else did the same, KG, Kutaro, Kai, Reko, um, Jin, Kanna, we can assume those guys voted them for themselves so and now did not vote for themselves so just freely admitted that he voted for joe joe only had one vote so we can uh, safely assume he did not vote for himself if so is telling the truth if so is telling the truth because it could easily have been so voting for mishima so what so is insinuating is that one vote was for mishima from self one vote was from now, which makes sense, I think. One vote is from Joe. So what So is saying is that the reason Joe kind of jumped up and said who voted was because he himself voted for Mishima and he wanted to know who the other person was who voted for Mishima. Huh. I don't like so, but he has a fucking point. If so is lying, he has no votes. He voted for Mishima. Now voted for Mishima. Mishima voted for Mishima. Giving him and giving him and now zero votes. Both of them voted for Mishima, which is why Mishima had three votes, which is why he died. We, if so, so is lying, that means Joe voted for himself, just like Reko. Just like Kutaro, just like KG, just like Kai, just like Sarah. Now the question is, who to believe? And I don't like so, so I really don't want to believe him. But he brings up a good fucking valid point. And like I said, Joe did start questioning like immediately after everything happened. He went, well, who voted for who? Reko said no. Reko said shut the fuck up. Reko had a vote for herself though. So it's highly unlikely that Reko voted, did not vote for herself. That she voted for Mishima. I have no... I have, don't think Reko voted for anybody but herself. Because she doesn't, she doesn't seem like the type. She did call Mishima the nutty professor. But she's of course not like the I hate you type. She's like the I'm wary of you but I'm not going to hate you type. That's what I feel. So damn. So got me. Hold on. If Sarah just spec it. Hold the fuck up. Did I just speculate all that? If Sarah says the same thing I do, I'm gonna be upset. Joe didn't vote for himself. Okay, she didn't. Okay, good. <laughs> that means that my speculation want was not for naught. Was not for naught. Yeah, no, I'm a. Mm, my brain. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stop this here.
we're going to not rot the, our brains out t for today. Um, and yeah, that was, if so is correct, Joe is looking quite suspicious. But in Joe's defense, even if so is correct, which I don't want him to be because I hate so. Um, if so is correct and Joe is suspicious, Joe felt guilty about it, which is why he immediately asked about it. So I think even though Joe, in this scenario, if he did do it, even though Joe did it, Joe feels bad about doing it. So I don't think there was any ill intention, of course, because he didn't know the fucking rules because nobody fucking knew the rules. Same with now. Now just automatically voted for Mishima. She's like, oh, Mishima, he's my first choice. You know, in the whole, I'm going to think about the person I like most, you know, instead of myself. Not insinuating a romantic relationship, you guys. I highly, highly don't get any romantic vibes between now and Mishima. Absolutely not. So anybody who ships, ships them, go away. You're not welcome here because people can have relationships without being romantic. And I really like the dynamic between um, a teacher and their student. I really like that dynamic. And I really hate when people mix romance into it because it's disgusting. Um... Yeah, and I'm not upset about KG. I'm a little upset about KG. She is 17. Sarah is 17. So be careful, KG. You're walking that thin line. Don't matter what the age of consent is. You're watching walking that thin line. <laughs> the thin blue line. <laughs> um, but yeah, no. Um, I really hope that so is wrong. Yeah, I hope so is wrong. I doubt. I highly doubt Joe was the one who smacked so on the <laughs> back of the head. I think maybe it was probably KG. Keiji, Kai, was probably the most likely suspect because Kai is, he has a record for hitting people. He has a track record. <laughs> so, so, Kai is the top of my list for that. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to shut the fuck up now. I'm going to maybe eat some food. And, yeah. See you guys in the next installment of Your Turn to Die.